My name is Dr. Cameron Johnson, and I'm coming to you from Millenai Center with the second episode of our Ask an Ophthalmologist video series. Getting to our uh, questions now, uh, the first question we have for today are what is a multifocal lens and how does it work? Uh, so, some background, it's important to understand that when we do cataract surgery, we're actually taking out the natural human lens, which has become cloudy, and we replace it with a artificial clear lens that patients can see through better. So for many decades, the only lens we've had access to, uh, or the only lens we had access to was the uh, monofocal lens, and that's a lens that uh, focuses uh, for clearing things up just at one distance. So patients would usually choose to have their vision corrected for the distance, and we would know that they would need uh, reading glasses for near tasks like reading a novel or doing uh, crochet or uh, even glasses for intermediate tasks such as looking at the computer or looking at their phone. Uh, about a decade ago uh, we were excited to uh, see that a new type of lens had come out called a multifocal lens and that lens corrects uh, for both distance and either near or intermediate. So patients could choose to see distance and then either uh, up close for reading or intermediate for a computer. And uh, this helped us uh, minimize uh, a lot more patients' uh, dependence on glasses from what we'd had previously. However, there were some limitations to these lenses that uh, made uh, them uh, less, uh, we couldn't use them on as many patients as we uh, would have liked to. And these limitations were things like because the multifocal lens splits light between near and distance, only half the amount of light is going to each place. So y patients would notice, especially for their distance vision, something called decreased contrast sensitivity, just basically meaning that the distance vision wasn't quite as crisp and clear and bright as it was with the uh, monofocal lenses that didn't split the light. Uh, some patients would even complain of kind of a waxy quality to their vision. Uh, the other thing that we noticed was more patients than we like, would have liked uh, to had some difficulties with driving at night due to halos around lights and uh, significant problems with glare. Uh, so we were happy to have these lenses, but we were we're always looking for something different, something better. So we were really excited uh, when about a year ago a new class of lenses came out called the Extended Depth of Focus lens, uh, which is the uh, Symphony lens. And this lens works in a totally different way. Instead of splitting the light between near and distance, kind of 50-50, it gets everything in focus uh, starting at the distance and then as uh, objects get closer they stay in focus all the way up to about 17 inches. Uh, as things get closer than 17 inches, uh, the clarity does drop off as things get closer and closer. But these lenses are excellent for uh, distance vision and also things like uh, looking at the dashboard at your, in your car, prices in the grocery store, looking at your computer, looking at your phone at arm's length, and even uh, like reading a magazine at arm's length. Um, so uh, just from a personal standpoint, I've seen patients be a lot happier with these uh, lenses in the previous generation. Uh, one thing you may ask is, if these lenses don't get the vision uh, good as close up as the previous generation, why are we so excited about these? Well, for two reasons. Uh, one reason is they don't have that same uh, decrease in contrast sensitivity that previous lenses had. Uh, the contrast sensitivity is actually very similar to that of the original uh, monofocal technology uh, where all the light is focused on one distance. Uh, so patients uh, seem to really enjoy the high quality of their distance vision with this lens. Also, there is uh, less pro of a problem with uh, glare at night and halos around lights. Now, patients can see some rings around lights with these 
lenses. Generally, these improve over the first six months, and um, only about 5% of patients describe these uh, the sclera and halos as uh, being severe. So most patients uh, don't have much trouble with that. So uh, the second question we have for today is, uh, will I still need glasses after having surgery with these lenses? Well, uh, for the multifocal lens, uh, if you have the lens that corrects for near and intermediate, you would still need glasses for uh, very close uh, range of vision, and vice versa if you had near and uh, distance, you would still need uh, glasses for intermediate. With the uh, symphony lens, uh, for distance and intermediate, which is a, a large portion of uh, things we're looking at during the day, especially nowadays with uh, mobile phones and computers, uh, you wouldn't need glasses for any of that. However, if you wanted to like read a novel and hold the book uh, pretty close, or uh, we're doing crochet, or looking at very fine print, or uh, trying to read in dim light, uh, you would likely still need uh, a low power reader, like a plus one reader. Um, another uh, question that patients often have is, am I a candidate for these lenses? And how do I know if I'm a candidate? Uh, the best way to find out is to have a thorough uh, examination by your eye doctor, looking for uh, other signs of uh, ocular disease. So with uh, the multifocal lens, basically the eye needs to be uh, in close to perfectly healthy condition uh, with the exception of the cataract. Um, so we don't want to do those lenses in patients with macular degeneration or other macular problems, glaucoma, uh, significant dry eye, or uh, hereditary corneal problems like a corneal dystrophy. Uh, the uh, lens, because it splits light, uh, really doesn't work as well as it should in these patients who really need all their light focused on one spot to have adequate vision. Uh, the symphony lens, however, is a little more forgiving, so patients with mild macular problems still could be a candidate for this lens. And also patients with mild or moderate dry eye, especially if we treat the dry eye and improve it, they may be a good candidate for this type of lens. So that's all I have for today. So if you have questions that you'd like to see answered on our next episode of Ask an Ophthalmologist, uh, please go to uh, millenicenter.com backslash askdoctor. Uh, so once again, thanks for uh, listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.